All right. Greeting Earthlings. Earthlings, wake up. Time has come to be a present on the Earth. I am John Brooks, and I'm just trying to get your attention. I was uh, past president of Seafrog. You know, one, the, about the one, only advantage of being old, like I am, is that I was around for the first Earth Day in Philadelphia in 1970. My sister and I went to Fairmont Park, and there were 60,000 people there. It was an incredible scene. The first thing, really the awakening of, of the culture and to how to prepare and how to, how to heal the earth because there had been so many bad things. The streams were polluted. The air was horrible. And our own beloved President Nixon <laughs> was actually did good things. The Clean Air Act, the EPA, all these things were, were put into place after the first day Earth Day in Philadelphia. But you know what? From that day forth, it's always been forces that want to exploit the natural resources that say, ah, there's too many regulations. Come on, get off my back. You don't know as much as we know. You don't know about, you don't know how to do business. And lately it's been, oh, pollution doesn't cause climate change. It's just the cycle of the sun or something. Every day there's the danger that we'll get numb to the fact that the truth is being assailed. Facts matter. Good science matters. And it confirms what we know is true. We have to investigate and use science and pay attention because if we don't, we risk losing truth as a central value in this country. And it's been a value for a long time. So all of us, we have to be constantly involved and shout out when the truth is endangered, when we see lying. Shout out, stand up in the public square and in your voting booth and say, we protect our community and the wild places from the impacts of oil and gas extraction. Now, Seafrog, if you don't know it, was founded five years ago by about 15 people in Ojai who saw that the county planning department was giving special treatment to oil and gas applications and failing to protect the public as best they could from bad air, chemicals, and truck traffic. So here's how to affect change. We went to every planning director meeting, planning commission meeting, board of supervisors meeting. We submitted detailed information from our volunteer experts in air quality, the law, hydrology, and other disciplines. You know what happened? At first, we were mocked, even belittled by some government officials and oil industry people. So we raised money and filed appeals. Most were rejected, and we had to go to a higher level. Finally, we were forced to take Ventura County to court, and that's very expensive. But in this community, there are many generous people who care, and we were able to hire a law firm. Last November, victory, an independent Superior Court judge ruled on all points in our favor. They told the county to do real analysis of truck danger and air quality impacts. And the judge saw how one high-level county planning official was not fair to the public and didn't follow the law. It's in, the, it's in this ruling. Since then, our group now gets a seat at the table and the respect that we've, I guess we've earned. Most project reports are better now, but we still go over them with a fine-tooth comb and suggest ways to make projects better. Our goal is to protect our airshed, watershed, oceans, forests, land stability, wildlife, agriculture, and human health by making sure that oil and gas projects are properly reviewed in accordance with all laws. Seafrog's all-volunteer board and advisory board work to be of service to the community. Public agency staff and local officials, are, and re, we help them review oil and gas projects to make sure that all the potential environmental impacts are studied, including cumulative impacts. We use current science, data, and the law to protect public health, public safety, and the environment. So what is the key to environmental success? Just show up. Just be there. Be present. People don't come out anymore and, and, and go to these meetings. I know there, some of them, believe me, are boring as hell. They last interminably. But if you're there, if you speak out, if you flood these chambers and, and, and tell people what, what your wishes are, and you're there next week and the week after that, then they start to listen. I know when I retired from my job as a reporter for CBS News, I didn't know anybody in the local environmental movement. But when we formed Seafrog and I started going to government meetings and speaking out, reading staff reports and finding flaws, I learned. I learned a whole lot. And if you participate and do it honestly, before you know it, people do start listening to you. And they add your suggestions to the mix. So just show up. Bring your friends. Get off the couch and get into the seat of government. And thanks for listening to me today. <laughs>